various times when there was adversity, um, whether it was at the beginning of the second half, third quarter. Um, and they made a couple runs and we made some made some plays. I thought that you know we didn't split apart. We actually came together and it showed down the stretch um, defensively and also with our execution. The fact that we were sharing the ball late. I want to ask about DeJounte Murray and just making that shot. Karis LeVert was all over him with a minute left. Just what have you seen from him and also being able to draw those two four-point four plays and another three-point play when it mattered at the end? Well, it, you know, him being aggressive from the three-point line is a big thing for us and a big thing for him. And then also, you know, getting downhill and getting, you know, getting to the rim. Um, when he does those two things, you know, it, it, it really puts pressure on the defense. And then... You know the ability to, you know, make a play and, and rise up, take a contested shot. Um, that's when his mid-range game is, is so important. You know during those times because that's you know he's able to, to rise up and use his length. Um, but I, I thought you know really other parts of his game. I thought he and Trey, you know, played together in a way that was really I was really happy to see that. Um, you know that I thought they played off each other. And, you can see there was a, you know, a connectivity there that um, is important to our whole team. And, you know, we had great effort off the bench as well. You know, Sadiq and O in particular, um, you know, really gave us a lot, and we were able to build a lead when those guys were in the game. I know that first half, especially. Well, actually, I'll talk about the offensive side first. Just the fact that you guys were able to put up 120 points on statistically the best defense in the NBA. Just what did you see that worked, especially there in that second half? Well, I mean. It, the key for us is to have our eyes out in space and share the ball. And if we're not spaced, you know, we can't find people. If our eyes aren't out, and we can't pass the ball. Um, then we got to move it to the open man. And you know, for the most part, you know, I thought that we were conscious of that. Um, you know, I thought you know Trey with one turnover in the second half was a big deal. He was really letting the game come to him. And Dejounte was making plays. I thought JC had a big play late. It, we had contributions from a lot of guys. You know, we got in the pocket and made that pass. So, good things all around. Can you talk about connectivity? And I'm curious what the the trouble is with them being able to translate it from game to game, especially when you guys are working on the mm -hmm. consistency part. Well, I mean, as we all know, as human beings, you know, to be connected, people spend their whole lives trying, you know, striving for that. You know, whether. Whatever discipline you want to try to find to do that, and it's one of the really you know, great things about this game is that you know when the whole is greater than the sum of the parts, um, it usually means you're connected. And I thought that you know we were urgent defensively. You know, there's some times where you know it's just it's hard to defend in transition when we miss a layup or turn the ball over. That those things happen, but you know collectively we never let. Never, never let the game and the adversity of the game kind of split us. I thought we, you know, we stayed together. And it's emblematic with, you know, some big stops. You know, Donovan obviously was making some shots, and we tried to do a few things with him that required five guys. And uh, you know, I think for the most part, like I said, I, we played as a team, um, which is a lot. You know, we say that, you know, anybody that's been a part of a team, it's not that easy to do. You know, it takes sacrifice, and you have to think about the, the guy next to you, and do things for each other, and you know that's that manifests itself a lot of ways. And then, as far as feet, and I'm kind of curious, what went into the decision to, to play him in the rotation? Yeah, I mean, we we've this has been a process of just looking for guys that want to compete and work, and that are selfless, and that's what he's been for us. So I just felt like it was a good time to give him an opportunity. And no. no Disrespect to any of the other guys who you know, didn't play. I think you know he made one. He can pass, you know, and, and I think that that's a connective play, um, and he, that's what he did. Coach, you kind of alluded to it already. Uh, Donovan Mitchell had a very special night. You guys had spent some time after the game. Mm -hmm. What's it like just seeing him evolve into the player he is today? Well, you know, it's he's a special player, and for me, he's and that that doesn't really do it justice because he's a special special young man and he's still a young man um, and it, that, that's a credit to him that he's been able to 
to grow as a player. Um, the things that he works, you know, and he tries to work on his game and, and get better all the time. So, um, you know, you look at a guy like that and you see him, it's a little strange um, seeing him on the other team. And uh, some of the things that I was rejoicing in, I wasn't so happy to see him doing against us. Um, and like you said, he had a, you know, he had a terrific game. It's tough to handle. He tried to switch and then you know, double him and tried to blitz his pick and roll, a lot of different things we were doing. And, you know, he, where he's gotten as a player, you know, he's aware of how people are guarding him and he anticipates those things a lot more than he did a few years ago. And, uh, and he's willing to take what the defense gives him. Um, that, that makes him even more difficult to guard. Quinn, Onyeka, you mentioned him earlier, but he shot 11 for 12 from the free throw line. What is it like having a big who's able to shoot that well from the free throw line? After the game, he's got to go 12 for 12. <laughs> <laughs> so there's more out there. Um, his, his, whether it's the offensive glass, he's impacting me. I think his spirit, too. I mean, you just see him. Um, enjoys playing and you know it's good to see him growing as a player and he's got great hands he finishes and you know for for big guys like that making free throws is, is really really important because they're they're down there they're mixing it up and uh you know to be able to punish a defense for fouling you is it's a big deal you know it's it, to miss those shots sometimes is deflating um and he's he's getting hand warms and making his free throws and you know, it's, it's, he's efficient, you know. Coach, you talk about the, the Cavs being a, a very good team when it comes to points in the paint. I believe it was a big discrepancy in points in the paint, 72 to 44. Just talk about you, your team's ability to get this win was such a big discrepancy when it comes to points in the paint tonight. Well, 72 is better than some of the other games we've had. So, um, well, I, I think if you look at, it's important to look at points in the paint, and we'll watch the film again, but to see how they got them. Um, you know, when they're getting in transition of, you know, fast break points, those are sometimes have more to do with what you're doing offensively than anything. Um, but I think it's something our guys are aware of and we're working on. You know, it's, it's a, Donovan has a way of getting in the paint. And so does Garland. So keeping those guards, you know, out of the middle of the floor is a big deal where you can actually give each other some help. And it's something we'll continue to, you know, to practice and talk about and commit to. All right. Thanks, Coach.